Hey, what's up YouTube? It's really Rick. And obviously the first thing you're going to notice is it looks like I'm in a hospital. <laughs> and the truth of the matter is, yeah, I'm in the hospital. Look at this. I have one. Can you see this? Look at this. One, two IVs in my arms. Oxygen up my nose. I've got all these little stickers. There you go, on my chest. So, what am I doing in the hospital again? Well, um, a couple months ago, a doctor told me that I had something called metabolic syndrome. And basically that meant that it was like a precursor for diabetes, that my blood was having problems taking out like the glucose or the fatty substances or something like that. And that if I didn't like change my ways or whatever, that I could develop diabetes. Um, so I did. I started changing my medicine. I started changing what I eat and everything. Well, I got here to Louisville and uh, had a little problem. So I came to the hospital not even thinking anything. They literally rushed me into the trauma room, sound an alarm, 20 people come running. They put a toe tag, I wish you could see it, I'm not kidding, around my leg. So in case I died, I have the toe tag there. And so they're telling me that I could have, well, that I definitely have something called hyperkalemia. I'm going to put the word down here because it's kind of hot. Hyperkalemia, which means I have high potassium, which normally, like, potassium is a good thing. It's found in green leafy vegetables. It's found in orange juice, stuff like that. Um, but if it gets high enough, it can actually be fatal. And high potassium can be a result of diabetic, another word I forgot, but basically means diabetic dehydration. If you have diabetes and you get dehydrated, which I always do for some reason, I don't drink enough, um, it can cause the high potassium. So since it's like possibly life-threatening, they obviously brought me into the hospital and this will be my second night here. And uh, we're, they're keeping me... So, oh, here's the funny thing. So I have high potassium, right? So they made me drink this nasty stuff called like Kea pectate or something or other. And um, no, not the nausea, vomiting, poopy thing. But anyway, so I, I, take, I do that. And then they come back later and the tests are showing that my potassium is now low. And so I'm having to take these big friggin' horse pills of like potassium. So I just wanted to say that, you know what? Has anyone ever made a YouTube video from a hospital bed with two IVs in, oxygen, EKG? See, there's my little heartbeat up there. You see that? Look, 73 beats a minute in, in a hospital room. Now look, isn't this a shitty little hospital? But I have a really cool view of downtown Louisville. I'm on the ninth floor of the, uh, I'm not going to say the hospital because I'm going to post this, so I'll just wait and I'll put it in later, but, um, so yeah, so you know what, people are like, oh, you, you're like an attention whore and you get, do, you get on there, like, really, look at how I look right now, would anyone else of these, like, you know, people who, YouTube partners, us, I, I'm a YouTube partner, but they get on there and show you their absolute worst, no, because they have, like, this image to protect, and I don't, I want to be honest, because this is, I make these videos for me to be honest about what's going on in my life. So 20, 30 years from now, I can look back and be like, this is what was going on. So this isn't my midlife crisis. You know, I turned 35 on Sunday. And um, so, yeah, so enjoy. And uh, I'm okay. Trust me, I'm okay. But yeah, these IVs hurt. I want to show you the blood. You can't see it. But this is the real, really Rick. That's what this channel is about, being real. So um, I will talk to you guys later. And keep thumbs up. Oh, and I can play WoW from the hospital, and I am. It's so much fun. So, see you later, YouTube.